Hello, patrons. Trevor here. And Nate. We are something on nothing, aren't we? Am we? But the, today, we're Picasso or nothing, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Picasso, did he do landscapes? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I thought it would be good fun to have a go at doing a bit of painting, landscape painting. Now, it's something I've not done since school. Uh, have you done any painting? No. No, no, I can't say it's ever, unless it's like emulsion on a wall, not in any, no. No. Um, yeah, so I bought us both an easel and some paints and, well, then we painted, didn't we? We, we painted, yeah, didn't we paint? <clears throat> oh my God, did we paint. So, yeah, we both, in our own homes, painted and uh, this is what happened. Hello Patrons, Trevor. Hey YouTube, it's uh, Nathan here from Summer or Nothing and you might recognise this little fellow. Because I'm talking to the camera, he thinks there's somebody at the door. So, you know, there I was thinking he was an intelligent dog. Anyway. Something different today, your exclusive video is a challenge I'm setting between me and Nate. So, Trev sent me a parcel, a gift in the post. I have here a canvas. A selection of brushes, look, no expenses spared. Uh, so I've no, no idea what specific uses each. Oh, they feel quite firm. A selection of acrylic paints, again. I think you can probably guess by now what's going on. So we was gonna get out and do this on the moors together. Then lockdown happened and the weather's been crap. So we can film our own individual efforts and put them together at the end and see how it comes out. Painting something I've not really done a lot of since school. I've done one painting, do you wanna see it? There it is. No, it's not really. Donna done that one. I done that. <laughs> it's a fist holding a bit of paper with woodsy on it. I don't know what that was all about. That's my last attempt at art. I have to be honest, I, I haven't painted anything since um, probably secondary school. I'm not gonna lie, painting isn't something that's ever sort of come up and I thought drawing in general is not my strong point. But no artist is complete without an easel. So here we have an easel. I think this would be a nice addition to the house. Again, cheap as chips. It's probably gonna be really rickety and really rubbish. Uh, huh. Oh look, what goes on here? Okay. Right. What's happening? So, yep. Yeah. Right, so that tightens up. Stop it rattling about. Right, I already have, oh I see. I see. Do I see? It's as far as it will go. It's sort of getting away from me a bit here. <laughs> Is that slide up? Right, okay. This is actually far more complicated than you'd imagine. That's annoying me, because that's not sitting into the Oh, I see like that. like that. This drops down like that. Well, only prevent it from slipping out. <laughs> I'd like to think that that would clamp that a little more firmly. Tighten it right up. Like that. Don't want that leg moving out, do we? Oh, it definitely feels better this way up. So, uh, yeah, hopefully Nathan will get round to this. That says you'll just see my half of the video. Oh my god, I really don't have a clue what I'm doing. Are there instructions? Starting to get a better idea of it now, maybe. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Ta-da! What do you reckon, folks? You don't have a video. You need to see some of that. But here we go. The easel set up. Now let's have a look at a photo to choose. Dartmoor landscapes. I think Dartmoor is a good place to go. We spend a lot of time at Dartmoor. This is a photo I took 
from last week or the week before when I went up in the woods. I quite like this picture. There's quite a lot going on there. Uh, maybe that will be a decent one. I guess maybe I want like a, a snowy hill with a white sky behind it, drawing a complete white out. Another photo I really like, if I go onto my Facebook page, I love this image, I've always loved this image. That's the Tavy Cleave River going down there, and I love the way that the landscape carves in around. I have no idea of the techniques that I'd use to get any of these things. I think with that one, I will struggle to sort of give a sense of depth and it might just look like a big mass of green mess. This is quite intimidating now I'm actually sat here. I like this. This is good. Right. How do I get that bigger? This one. It's the Lake District. It's a bit flat. There's no sort of light and dark. No, I don't want it. I don't really know what the computer's doing that's taking so long. Dartmoor Landscapes. There's the very same image. Bingo. I'm going to choose the trees. I like the light in here. There's the coppery colours of autumn. The dark trees. The sunlight coming through. Yeah, it looks enough of a challenge. A lot of a challenge. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for that one. And see how it turns out. Let's get on. I think first of all, I want to outline some of these stones. I'm going to start by sort of sketching what I see on there, I think. Along here is going to be the land, the main tree in the foreground here. So somewhere here, I think we've got some, maybe some shapes trailing off, maybe some more stones. Another tree, sort of here. Oh, I don't know, I'm nervous. <laughs> Down here, we've got sort of this sweepy stone. I'm going to get that intense light somehow. Hmm. This isn't very intense. There's some sort of break there. We've got lines and stones coming down. It's almost white down there, isn't it? I'll try and get rid of that line now that I've put down there. That looks absolutely appalling so far, doesn't it? Crap, isn't it? I've only just started. You wait, it'll all come together. It's going to be amazing. Can I start again? I don't even know why I've used blue mixed with black. I wanted a grey colour and I used blue and black. That's not a grey colour at all, is it? At the moment, it doesn't really resemble anything. Well, this is what I'm thinking. Build up the main colours and then work Build over the top of it with the detail. Does that sound sort of right? So now I've got a sort of a basis for the background, and now I'm going to sort of go over the top of everything. This is where I feel I'm going to ruin it. I'm going to go jet black. Well, Jeff, do I look like an artist yet? This is the tree. It doesn't actually come down to the bottom. I've done that wrong. I'm going to start filming the sky. So it goes straight up. Maybe I should have done the sky and then painted the mountain over the sky because the dark colour seems to be picking up on the brush and spreading. So that's not ideal. <laughs> I think I ruined it. <laughs> I told you it looked like a child fucking painting, didn't I? Choosing this painting was perhaps a bit too ambitious. The very 
very good leading line, sort of coming in and pointing to this rock here in there. And that's about where the sun is, and then there's some more sort of down here. Wow, turning that into that is going to be an absolute freaking nightmare. I'm thinking that I shouldn't have done the trees so early. I should have got the background, sort of the grass right with all the light sort of shimmering across. I'm not a very good artist. I've got three brothers and they're all really good at art. Skipped a beat here, didn't they, with me? Right, all I can do is just keep on. So I know I suppose it's just layering over the top of things and seeing if we can create something that might look a bit lifelike. I tried putting the yellow, see the yellow bits on here um, and what's happening is it's just sort of blending in with the background, it's not standing out. So then I've done the darker bit, it's not looking anything like I'd intended. Right, I'm mixing up some dark, so all the brown, touch of black. I want to start to replicate some of these areas, the sort of darker areas, and then I'll layer over the top and make them lighter. Just trying to use the ends of the brushes, hoping that will give like a leafy effect here. What a fucking mess! If I do say so myself. See, it looks good from a distance. It's not my finest hour, that's for sure. When I'm here, it looks like a child's done it, but from another room. At this stage, like if you looked at it, I don't even know if you'd know what it was. Looks good from here, doesn't it? <laughs> Ah, oh, you know, I'm not an aggressive, outbursty kind of person, but I could happily pick that up and smash it over something right now. Okay, so <laughs> we've got to almost to the reveal. So, almost. So how did that go for you, Leif? How did you find well, the painting? I've got to be honest, I was actually finding that quite frustrating. When I go to do something, I like to research and plan and sort of bring my A game. But we only had one canvas, so like, even if I'd have done the research, there wasn't like there was a practice run. I was trying to think anything that I could remember of painting that I've heard, read, school, that might be of use, but I'm not. Do you not watch any Bob Ross? No, I have watched some Bob <laughs> Ross, but generally I watch it because it's like, oh yeah, I've fallen asleep to that. Like. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, Bob. Dead. He's dead, is he? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I had been watching painting on YouTube leading up to it and I did say you could there's yeah, no yeah, yeah, yeah. you know if you wanted to watch because watching someone do it it might you think you trick I tricked myself <laughs> I tricked myself into thinking I got this I could do that yeah I don't <laughs> I don't think I'm any good at painting even now the finished product I could look at it sometimes I look at it and I go it's all right it's all right from like back there with one eye closed <laughs> Yeah, I've got to be honest, I've had mine sat on an easel in the living room and I've been coming in and out looking at it. If I catch it out of the corner of my eye from like a funny angle, I'm like, that's oh, alright. And then when I get a bit closer, I'm like, yeah. But I definitely think mine looking at it in different lights, it does look like a different painting, different times of the day, which is quite interesting. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> shall we... Uh... I think without further ado, let's see who goes first. Right, heads I win, tails you lose. So your heads? I'll go heads, yeah. Oh. <laughs> tails it is. Right, so that's me. Yep. Oh, wow. That's my finished product. That's really good. It's alright, it's a mess. It's No, it's not, man. I had an idea that it was going to be sort of more detailed and... Yeah, yeah, it's hard to do. And I think paints. I could have gone on with it. I think a real artist probably would have gone on with it and <laughs> just added to it and I just I got to a point where went, fuck it, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Does it always, a real artist take three hours and then that's that? <laughs> you know, that was... 
It's got some awesome texture in it. The highlights on the side of the trunks of the trees, the starburst coming through. It's got everything that you'd want to see in a real good landscape image. I really like it. For the majority of it, I used one brush. The biggest brush there was, and it's sort of like, yeah, there's no fine detail in there. There's no finesse. It, yeah, is, it, it looks messy. It looks sloppy. It doesn't have to have it a finesse and fine detail. It's not what you've gone for, is it? See, with this as well, like there's this big bushy bit here. It just looks a mess. There's no, there's nowhere you're looking. You know, there's nothing. Leading lines yeah, drawing yeah. you in. Right, yeah, I mean, yeah, even yeah. like the photo I took that this is based on seems to have a better form to it than this. It just, it does seem messy. I think if that's your first attempt as an adult at a landscape painting, I think you should give yourself a big pat on the back. I would not be embarrassed about hanging that on my wall. Well, anyway, that concludes the... <laughs> <laughs> Come on then. Uh... Oh, mate, look at that. I like that. I was, the way you've sort of downplayed it, I don't know what yeah. I was expecting, but I like that. That is good. It's an actual tour on Dartmoor. I couldn't tell you what tour it is, but going for a sunset was just so hard. You've caught, you know, it's yeah. catching the rocks. Tried to get it's the highlights, catching. but it's... Skies are not easy, I've heard. Seeing your the greenery on yours, I would have loved to have put more texture in the grass and that now. It does look like it's brighter, the, the, the sunlight, and then it gets faded over here. And when, from a distance, you can really see that sort of trailing off. I liked it. It looks really good. Did you use any of your paints up? I nearly used one tube of paint. Did you? So completely, did yeah. Have a look at my picture. And try and guess the colour, and I'll try and guess the colour on yours. Well, having painted mine, like the colour that I used most isn't in any way obvious in my painting, so no. I'm guessing it might be the same in yours. Yeah, I was thinking maybe the same. So I'm guessing maybe it was white? Ah, no, it wasn't. Yours was white then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mine's yellow. Really? Yeah, I almost emptied, well, almost emptied the yellow. Right, okay. I don't know, yeah, you wouldn't look at that and think, well, maybe an artist would look and, look and think, You've used too much yellow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, maybe. But yeah, that surprised me with yours with white, to be honest. Yeah, there was a lot of trying to <clears> mix <throat> the greys with the black, mm. see? And that ate it up. And then I was trying to lighten the blues. It, well, you know, it's got... I won't show you the original image. No. <laughs> <laughs> but you're up for having another go next year, getting out, yeah. trying to do the same landscape? Yeah, yeah, I'm up for that. So we, we so. go out. Paints, easel, canvas, sitting facing the same thing. I think the banter for that could be pretty <laughs> amusing. It'd be good. Cool. So there you go. You don't have to vote which one's your favourite or anything like that. We're just it's just a challenge and just good fun really, wasn't it? Yeah, no so it was. Mine's going up above my bedroom. Nath, you gonna put yours on there? I think you should. Lighting's a place up, doesn't it? Do you want to look? Is it better that way round? <laughs> or, or that way? <laughs> No, I think God, I, I might. It's, bad. it's a nice knife. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. I might put it in the kids' room. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, there you go. That was just a little extra video. Something different to do. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, see you all soon. Cheers. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Merry Christmas.